Hello everybody and welcome back to Rollaways 2. So at the end of the last part we got into a war with the um, Anglo-Italian alliance that formed to restrain American aggression or something to that effect. Um, now before we get started I do want to go and do one thing real quick. So between parts I went and updated my uh, spreadsheet for all of the enemy designs and one thing I noticed is that the enemy seems to actually be finally getting some CVs in action. Now the British actually have a fairly nice one here at 36,000 tons with 80 aircraft. I did between parts look to see what I could design. I was able to design something that was like 40,000 ton displacement with a hundred aircraft and like a 5.5 inch belt um, 88 inch guns I think it was something like 16 4 inch dual purpose secondaries and like 24 uh, 3 inch dual purpose tertiaries or something like that um, and still managed to catch that same 33 knot speed as the Argus here so yeah probably at some point during this war maybe even after it depends on exactly how this all plays out we will be designing a another new cv to replace our relatively new and recent langley's something else i also noticed is that the ai is uh cheating uh, assuming that the info in my almanac is accurate uh there's a number of enemies that are running around with cvs that have four four inch main guns and six four inch secondaries and they're both dual purpose now realistically you're not allowed to do that the game will actually throw a fit if you try to equip any ship it doesn't matter what it is it can be a battleship it can be anything it does not matter you cannot have main guns and secondaries that are the exact same size no matter what I can try this, and I know, okay, game, you're not gonna let me show it off there, so I'll just show it off in a CV, make my life easier. The game, secondary guns main caliber must be smaller than main guns, but for some reason the AI apparently is allowed to ignore that rule. Now it's possible the info my almanac is inaccurate and those secondaries are actually three inch guns, um, but I've never seen such a large disparity in the info in the almanac and the reality, so I don't think that's the case. I honestly think the game is actually lying to us. Or not, it's not lying to us, but the game is actually cheating there. And allowing some countries to run around with 4-inch main guns and 4-inch secondaries, even though you're not allowed to do that. Let me go ahead and get my timer started and we'll go ahead and get this war going. Uh, I did mention at the end of the last part a rough idea of what my plan is for this war. I also mentioned that I will potentially be modifying the save at some point after this war has gone on for a little bit to potentially bring in the Germans, though in hindsight I'm thinking maybe the French instead, I'm not quite sure. Um, if I go with the French, there's a very nice and simple explanation as to why. They lost NM. To Italy earlier in the game and I can imagine them saying this is a good opportunity to get involved and try and retake it um, for the Germans getting involved is just to be able to punch the British which I mean is a legitimate reason for wanting to get involved in the war it's just probably not the biggest one so we might go with the French instead we'll see that's not going to be happening this part it may not even happen next part depends on what kind of battles we get here Let's go ahead and get started. Um, go ahead and get my dock size building up further. You know, try and max that out. Um, and I did also, between parts, go ahead and kick up our intel efforts on Britain and Italy. But that's literally the only change I actually made in-game. And we start off with the fleet battle. Uh, I have four dreadnoughts five armored cruisers, four light cruisers, three CVs, four CVLs, 38 destroyers, 
to their estimated seven dreadnoughts, four battle cruisers, six armored cruisers, one CL, three CVs, one CVL, and two AVs, oh, and 32 destroyers. <sighs> well, we're gonna start this off with a nice big battle, which, I mean, is okay. Um, yes, attack enemy ships in general. Okay, and we're starting at night, just barely. Uh, yep, go ahead, launch. So happy we have those now. Those will make life so much easier for us. Now, I want to assume the enemies are probably down here to the south, uh, southeast here. Um, I'm not quite sure what the deal is with the these guys being sent by default going sort of northeast instead. I mean, it's entirely possible I'm wrong and the enemy is actually to the northeast, but I'm, I'm thinking that's not actually the case. I really am. But game currently will not allow me to adjust the heading of my ships. Okay, I'm just gonna press E. So it just keeps going instead of constantly pausing. Here we go. Uh, yes, I was correct. Though slightly off, they're a little bit more south than I anticipated. Which is still okay, of course. Line ahead, thank you game. Um, don't fire your torpedoes just because you feel like it. You are all alone. That sucks for you. You don't fire all your torpedoes just because you feel like it. But also, turn around. You guys. You also need to do that. Turn around. Uh, we'll leave the ranger and- oh. Do I not have all three of my CVs? I know the game said I had three estimated, but I'm seeing I only got two, which I mean I'm fine with. So I don't know what that is right there. I'm hoping it's, uh, well, I'm not actually really hoping it is. I'm assuming it's destroyers. What is the Warrington doing? I don't know. It is. An independent AI controlled line ahead in the, with the lead formation being the New York which is all the way over here which means it's not in the right spot for being involved with the New York it looks more like it's involved with this uh, Salt Lake City now luckily day will be breaking shortly so we'll be able to figure out what these guys are and I don't think that's actually a dreadnought if it is, then I would love to sink it now, but I don't think that's actually a Dreadnought. Or maybe it is, because that's actually quite a few stuff you got there, game. I am actually slightly inclined to now agree with you that maybe it is a Dreadnought. Um, I don't think that's likely to hit. That is potentially likely to actually hit something at least. Smith has a shot. Um, I selected the wrong ship, but that's okay. Go ahead and crossfire. Smith, do you have a shot actually? The answer to that would be no. We got two good hits in. Smith, do you still not have a shot? Now you do. I don't think that's likely to hit, to be honest. Um, honestly, none of these I'm thinking are particularly likely to hit, but let's see, the Walk has a shot, definitely. Is that... I think that might hit. See, that is aiming for that dude back there. This one is aiming for that dude there. I want to go for the battle cruiser in the rear. Well, this guy might get hit anyway. Let's, uh, you know what? We're gonna. We're gonna go with you. And, uh, you know what? 
Smith, even though I don't think you're likely to hit anything, to be completely honest, go ahead and fire. You're like, you have a chance of potentially hitting something. Also, we get to finally see our nice new beautiful California classes in action. All four of them, with the California not actually being the lead in the formation. Which, I mean, I'm okay with, but it's a little weirder to be honest. Um, also, make sure to set this no search maximum cap, because I don't really need to search. We already found them. They spawn basically on top of us. And the Lawrence is way back there. It ain't gonna get anything. Couple more. Ooh, ooh. Not lots of beautiful hits. And those are actually kind of spread out, which is always nice. Myth. You got a dude who's like right on top of you. Go ahead. Take the shot. I don't think you're gonna hit. Or they're gonna go duds. But... Take the shot. And the Lawrence doesn't have a shot. I need it to turn a little more. Ooh, shit. Okay, that one's actually dead in the water. And we got a couple more hits. Lawrence, you got a shot now. Take it. Go. So we haven't sunk anything, but we've definitely hurt them. One of their dreadnoughts is our- Oh, we got the Empress of India. Well, an Empress of India class is more accurate. Uh, I don't think that's likely to hit, to be honest. I think I'd prefer for you to try and aim at the Empress of India. But, uh, apparently you do not have an arc on it at all. Or at least you don't think it's a valid target. Is more accurate, I guess. Ah, uh, go ahead and just take that shot. Screw it. Uh, let's see, the Walk, Lawrence, and Trib are gonna have to all break off. Get the Walk out of there first, but I think it's gonna be dead in the water, being honest. Go to cruising speed, because otherwise you're not getting anywhere. Lawrence, you break off as well. Um, actually, the tripe I guess we'll leave for now. Smith is still going, but the Smith has got to get out of there. Oh shit, and we found more stuff. And that's not what I'm wanting to find right now, to be honest. Not with my dreadnoughts right there. Oh. Uh, hello. Oh, damn it. These are the Fredericks. Damn it. This is what I get for not putting torpedoes on everything. And there's a good reason for that, of course. I just don't have a reason for putting torpedoes on everything. But as a result of that, when having torpedoes on everything would work, or benefit me at least, I don't get the benefit of it. Yeah, I, I think the walk's gonna die. You deploy smoke and turn out of there. That is a uh, bad plan. Come on, Warrington. I really wish you would break. Oh, shit. Did the Michigan just take a torpedo or something? Is it? No, but it definitely took a beating. Eesh. Uh, that Canar ah, the Canarvan was one of their new designs, if I remember serves me correctly. Um, just show me the British. Uh, yes, it's a fairly recent-ish design. It's their, actually, it would be their most recent Dreadnought, 1936. I think they only had the one. So if we sink this, we're sinking their most modern Dreadnought. Which I will love to do if we can. Which I think we will. But being honest, I don't see a reason why we won't. Hopefully, though, we don't lose the Michigan in the process. Salt Lake City just took a torpedo. Oh, no, never mind. Looks like they have two Canarvans. For some reason, I thought they only had the one. I'm not sure why. And I don't know what you're shooting at. But, whatever. You... You do you. 
you come in. You got a nice little Carnarvon to shoot at. Collision between the Seattle and the Carnarvon. Whatever, I don't care. You got a shot on that Carnarvon? No, not that one. Um, this one. No, that one's out of arc. Kind of figured that was the case, you know, just kind of hoping it wasn't. Luckily, I think most of their st Oh no, the Carnarvons actually have torpedoes. I was not paying attention to that, to be honest. Well, this is going to be a nasty, nasty battle for both of us. Them because I'm going to sink probably a bunch of their capital ships. Me because I'm probably going to lose a bunch of my smaller ships. Because let's be real here, this is a giant clusterfuck already. Now, somebody fired a torpedo, I don't know who. The Warrington launched some torpedoes. I assume at the Carnarvon there. The Wainwright also launched torpedoes, but I could have sworn I told you not to, but whatever. You do you. That Carnarvon got hit. You, quickly, before you sink, get a shot off on that Empress of India. Uh, yeah, you're dead in the water. Aren't there supposed to be two that are dead in the water? At least I thought there were two. Ah, you were mistakenly classified as a dreadnought. You are actually an armored cruiser. Okay, that's where the issue was. Okay, Michigan is basically out of commission. I'm just going to tell you to get the hell out of Dodge. Because you got nothing. Literally, like, none of your guns work right now. They're either blown up or they are disabled right now. Seattle took a torpedo. Enemy battlecruiser took a torpedo. Wonderful. Uh, destroyed an Argonaut class, which also, I believe, is a fairly recent design of theirs. Uh, kind of. 1923. The Suffolk here took a hit by something. I don't know who. But magazine blew up, which is always fine with me. Either way, Michigan, you still gotta get the hell out of here. Oh, hello. Um... I kind of forgot about that Carnarvon up here. Do you have a shot? I assume the answer is no. Nope, not yet. Oh, that guy's dead in the water anyway, and Salt Lake City's sinking. Well, that's a shame, but let's be real here. Oh, never mind. These are the Fredericks. They're recent-ish. Also, I think that's a rebuild anyway. I don't recall, actually, when the Fredericks were first commissioned, but it's been a little while, I think. Um, yeah, I just gotta deal with all of these damn destroyers that they got, but this is gonna be a very nasty battle for them. Ah, shit, we just lost the California to a turret flash fire. I assume from the Carnarvon here. Um, shoot. Did, now I'm kind of curious if they brought in their... If they got their uh, aircraft carriers at all. Any of them. The lights or their legitimate aircraft carriers. Okay, so we lost the uh, primary ship of its class. They were not the first, but they were the main one. I don't know what you're shooting at, but I'm guessing it's these guys all the way out here. Oh, okay, Paul Jones, you're breaking off. Uh, we're gonna keep the, the word in. However, I think. No, actually, we're not going to. It's slowing you down way too much. 
the warden stays, it's going to be doing its own thing, separate from the Cassian, or Cassian, whatever. I need to get a destroyer over here to sink that damn Carnarvon, get revenge for the California. Okay, somebody took a torpedo. The Wibble. Is the Wibble a... Oh, the Wibble's my nice new hull class. You bastards. Yeah, I don't think that walk's gonna be doing so hot. Yep, walk is sinking. Not surprised. Chattanooga. You gotta... Okay, never mind. Don't need to use a destroyer to kill the Carnarvon. Um, blew up the magazine. I think they only had those two, right? No more? Okay, yeah. Looks like no more, so I think we... S I think they might have only had those two. I'm not quite sure, to be honest. I, I really should pay more attention to how many ships they have of each class, but... Either way, we've blown up two Carnarvons. Or we're going to, at least. This guy's dead. I don't see him surviving. I could give him a parting torpedo if necessary. But I'm like 90% certain he's dead. Yeah, you don't get an arc on that guy. I'm not surprised. You're sort of ramming into each other. To the Alwyn is sinking. We're in Cassin. Deploy smoke. Don't fire your torpedoes just because you feel like it. What else do I got? Um, you, turn. You guys, turn. Wibble, um, you're going to Boston. Uh, that destroyer is going to go down. You are heavily damaged, so I'm going to assume you're going to go down as well. You don't have a torpedo run on Victorious, however, right now, so you just continue on. I don't know what... Th Who's the Lampson a part of? Lampson's a part of you. It is way too far behind, so I'm breaking it off. It's going back home, even though it has a full torpedo load. It's going back home. It's just slowing you down far too much to be usable. Uh, Warden's going to sink, definitely. I... you don't have a shot. Come on, really? Uh, did your... did you take a shot to the... Nope, I was going to say you took a shot to the, uh... Conning Tower, but that does not appear to be the case. You just have issues. Just to have issues. See, I want to sink that bulwark. Uh, Michigan, you're still supposed to be broken off. Do not rejoin the group at all, period. You are going to Boston. Stop it. You know your plan. You have literally no functional guns whatsoever. Uh, got something about the word, and I'm assuming it's that it took a torpedo. Yeah, I don't think the cast is going to make it. No, game, game. Pause. Damn you. Missouri just took a torpedo. Uh, that's you. I'm shocked that you took a torpedo, to be honest. If only because you were so damn far away from the action. Okay, you guys got a shot? You do, but that sure as hell ain't gonna hit. I don't know what you're thinking firing that at a 7. There you go, that's a little more likely to do something. Ah. <sighs> 
The flag, I think, is always at the front. Yeah, so you are heading that way. You're not going to hit. You might... No, not that Empress of in India. This Empress of India. The one that's heading dead on for you. Uh, Dows. Oh, that's the one that's dead in the water. Never mind. I'm an idiot. That's what I get for not paying attention. No, that one's not going to hit you, idiots. Why do you always want to do this type of stuff? Firing at ridiculous angles that are just not going to hit anything. That's a maybe a friendly. You're dead in the water. Uh, the Cumberland there just took some torpedoes. Well, a torpedo. I need you to turn. Do you have a shot on that Empress of India? You do. Let's hope the Chattanooga does not get in your way. Guessing is sinking. Come on. You gotta have a shot, right? Wrong guy. Not quite. Turn a little more. Okay, well somebody still managed to take some torpedoes, so that's fine, I guess. Get those off Chattanooga. You took a shot to the engine room, didn't you? Uh, yes you did. Luckily it did not cause any actual flooding. You got that under control immediately. But that has completely destroyed your engine effectively. I mean, you're really just lucky that it has not officially destroyed it, but it's basically dead. So, okay, we're starting... I do like that we're starting this war off with a nice big battle. Parker's got to try to get out of there. O'Brien's sinking. Um, oh, wow, we were... Still not quite in daytime. We're actually in twilight still. Apparently. I thought we were. not I honestly could have sworn we were in daytime, but apparently not. We got a hit on the Empress of India here. Yeah, their ships just are not having a good time, but we're taking quite... A lot of damage among our smaller ships. A lot more than I would like to take. Oh, with the Leviathan here. You seem to be going a little slow there, Leviathan. All Jones break off. You're just too badly damaged to do anything, really. You have a shot. Well, you have your torpedoes, rather. Those aren't going to hit. You fired at the wrong freaking target. Oh, Chattanooga is dead in the water now. Right next to a Hampshire, which luckily is not shooting at you. Are you shooting at it, though? Uh, no, you're not. You know what? That's fine. Keep letting it think you're dead. Chattanooga just fired some more torpedoes. I don't know at what. Uh, do I have any more destroy? I do have some more destroyers. Wonderful. I need to hit that bulwark and that Empress of India and then that's basically it. There you go, Stuart. You got a shot on the Argonaut. You might have already had a couple of shots. But, you know, I wasn't quite paying attention to this part of the uh, battle, so... I didn't notice until just now. Boom. Tons of hits. Paul, you got some shots too. Go ahead. 
Though these oxygen torpedoes should pretty much guarantee most things will basically be out of commission after a single hit. Especially if they get hit by multiple. There we go, that Hampshire finally sunk. Oh, fuck, he's still going strong. Quite a bit, in fact, actually. I'm really shocked how strong you're still going. Oh, the Empress of India got hit by something. Uh, I'm assuming it probably from the Delaware and whatnot. Yeah, I think our Dreadnoughts are going to be out of commission for a decent while. <laughs> uh, from the looks of things, which is a shame. Anybody got down here got functional engines? Anybody at all? And also, maybe anybody have any torpedoes? I've got a Carnarvon up here that is just refusing to die. Ah, the Minneapolis is going to do it. Of course. Uh, send the Perry north, send the Hall north. The Stewart's going to break off. I don't know if they brought their CVs along, but it looks like the answer to that may be no, but I guess we'll find out in the after action report. Oh, you're on fire. You should sink eventually on your own, but you just don't want to, which I can't really fault you for. Because obviously, why would you want to sink? Bulk. I need you to, no matter what happens, I need you to be able to get a shot off real fast. On this bulwark, you don't have an arc right now. Keep going. Now you should. Now you don't show it at all. Really. Trust me, Bulk. It's still a valid target. There you go. Now it shows up again. Uh, yeah, break it off. You took two hits. Bulk, you need to get the hell out of here somehow. I don't care how you do it, just do it. Um, uh, Cincinnati, you go back down there, Minneapolis. You know what? You guys come in for a run on the Empress of India here. Because she ain't quite dead yet. No, why? Why, game? Why are you trying to do a 9 degree arc? Actually, 9... I forget if that's relative to your heading or... Yeah, I think that's relative to your heading. So a 9 degrees would not have been anywhere near enough to hit this thing. That should pretty much end. The Royal Sovereign just died. Do you get a shot on the Cumberland? Uh, Cumberland does not show up as a valid target. Now it does. Is your rudder hit? I don't think it is. That turn I think is a little too tight for your rudder being hit. You know, the Chattanooga is already going down, so uh, just fire if you hit. There you go, you got a hit. And apparently you actually managed to avoid hitting the uh, Chattanooga, which is a little shocking, but I won't complain about that. Couple more hits on you. Um, anybody else with torpedoes? The Barry has torpedoes, the Missouri's lost all of its forward guns, and the Delaware has lost all of its rear guns, and one of its forward guns is out of commission. And I need to get these light cruisers out here ASAP, because there's some destroyers making a run on them. Uh, you all, turn north, because I kind of forgot about you. Sorry about that. You know, just a little too much going on up north. 
that it's a little hard to keep up sometimes. Now you should not be reloading or anything right now. You just fire your shots. Oh, the Chauncey's sinking and somebody fires the torpedoes. The Parker. I didn't realize the Parker was still in action. That's great to hear, of course. Oh yeah, go ahead, pick up people. And one of those, I guess, was a dud. Okay, Minneapolis and Columbia, I need you to keep these guys off. Uh, Missouri's probably going to be breaking off to go home, I think. Actually, really, the Delaware probably should too, just to guarantee it doesn't get sunk. So, you know, we're going to do that. We're bringing all our battle cruisers home. Uh, what do I got that I can... What else can I send over there? Uh, really not much. Smith, you don't have any torpedoes. Lawrence, do you have any torpedoes? You don't. Neither do you. You all. If you're out of torpedoes, go home at this point. We need to minimize losses that we've taken because, oof, boy, this hurt. I mean, we knew it was. It was obvious to anybody that this battle was going to hurt. But I think we hurt them a lot more than they hurt us. Which is always good. Now, I could have you fire torpedoes just to try and force them off. Those are some ridiculous arcs that you're trying to do. Those are not going to scare them off at all. Oh, can we force them into the 9-inch gun battery there? Well, you guys keep tailing. Uh, okay. Some Republic Electra Seas are approaching enemy ships. I assume they're going for these destroyers, so... Best of luck to you guys, because I don't think you're going to do anything. Ba oh, shit. We got a bomb hit on a battlecruiser over there. Oh, that's not a battlecruiser. That's a Dreadnought game. I think you're slightly confused, but whatever. Enemy aircraft. Okay, they do have their CVs, apparently. I just... I don't know where they are. I don't think we got any reports of their CVs, did we? We did, actually. They are way the hell out there, potentially. We don't really have anything that we can send out there except our CVs, so... Yeah, not happening. We're... We're bringing everybody home as quickly as we possibly can. There we go, we got a nice shot in on that Foxhound, which I think is an older design. Yeah, relatively, it's 1927. I need you to do something to that Derwent and that Amazon. The Rother here is not a big deal. Holy crap, that Rother is ancient. Uh, Wainwright, you're going the wrong way to go home. Same with you, Paul Jones and Downs and... Harry, you actually have a full torpedo load. Lucky you. And I can finally gain... Con oh no, the Truxton was not the one that was uncontrollable. I think, it, I think that one sunk, actually. I think that was the walk up here.
come on. You guys just need to get a nice shot in. You seem to have done that to the Amazon. Enemy aircraft approaching Destroyer Division 27, which is... Perry over here. That's just whatever to me. I really don't care. We sunk a bunch of their capital ships, so... They're gonna be hurting. And that should make it a little bit easier for us to avoid having them um, be able to blockade us. Because obviously it's a little hard to blockade somebody when you're missing a bunch of your capital ships because you lost them in the opening engagement of the war. Come on. Shot down on the D went. Or Derwent, rather. Parker is sinking, that's a shame, but we'll live. Yeah, that Rother ain't sinking. It's going way too fast to be sinking. Okay, Michigan, you turn into Boston. Um, and Destroyer Division 10 can also turn into Boston, I think. And the Lawrence as well. You are way up there. Uh, go to cruising speed. You can also turn down. You, same with you. Okay, now I think we just send everybody home. I think we've done enough damage. Just, everyone needs to try to survive. There we go, that Rother has sunk. The enemy, that's whatever. CVs, you need to be going home. Some of our guys are approaching their stuff though. So maybe we're getting some hits in, I'm not quite sure. The bulk doesn't need to be laying smoke anymore. It also has to get that fire under control. Oh, it's probably going to sink, actually. That fire, I think, is way too out of control. And the Warrington is sinking. Go ahead, save people from the Warrington. Columbia misunderstands signals. Or my Republic Venturas are approaching enemy ships, which are going to be those CVs. Lucky for them, they survive. I don't know what CVs they sent. I guess we'll find out. Everybody, you all need to turn now. You are going a little too far north. You can also turn, I think. You're safe to turn. I don't know, you guys stop. At this point, cap light because there's no actual straight up off button. I'm pretty sure there is no way to tell them to just, just no, no launching of aircraft or anything, which is a little annoying. There really probably should be. Everybody should get home to Boston safely. Oops. You guys are going a little too far out. You need to turn around. You need to turn.
go. Okay, Whipple got hit by a dud. That's lucky for them. Turn. Trying to naval strike my damn CVs, which I really don't need to happen. Especially since I already obliterated your entire capital ship fleet that you had in the area, with the exception of your CVs or CVLs or whatever it is that you ended up sending at me. Come on, just focus on getting home, guys. Everybody go to port. Say everybody enter port. More of our aircraft are approaching enemy ships. Now, in theory, eventually the enemy will break off and say, we're out of here. At least in theory. More enemy aircraft approaching the Wibble. All Jones. Had to avoid some torpedoes. Come on guys, just... I really wish you would stop this game. I just need my guys to focus on getting home. go. Lost a submarine. So, uh, we lost the California, sadly. Heavily damaged one of our dreadnoughts and medium damaged two other ones. We lost none of our aircraft carriers, which is always nice. Lost two armored cruisers. Lost a light cruiser. Lost eight destroyers which is more than i would like to lose obviously and then obviously one of our submarines failed to report in and is presumed lost however in exchange we sunk seven of their dreadnoughts two of their battle cruisers the other two managed to escape unscathed those two were probably escorting the cvs would be my guess and yes they ended up having two cvs and one cvl we sunk 17 of their destroyers and three of their armored cruisers. Now, I'm curious, which CVs did they send? They sent the Argus, which, if I'm recalling correctly, isn't that the one with the 80? Yes, it is. Now, I know for certain they only have one of these. So I would love to sink the Argus at some point, if I could. Because this, oh, it's going to hurt them very much if I manage to sink it. It also doesn't have a lot of heavy A factor relative to a lot of our stuff. A lot of our stuff has like 50 when it comes to our capital ships, but there seem to be a lot of um, 30s and 40s and whatnot. They also don't seem to actually have any heavy AA factor on some of their stuff as well. Some of their stuff just has light AA. Now, this is sort of the first time we've ever really had aircraft have any real battlefield engagement. So originally we had 222 fighters. We lost 11 of them. Seven were air-to-air -air losses and four were operational losses. We had 98 medium bombers. Seven were lost, two to AA fire, two to air to air, and three to operational. Float plane scouts. Um, names escaping me for what the PBs are. So let's see. They took quite a bit heavier losses to aircraft. They lost 28 fighters. 
14 each to air to air and operational. Yeah, they took quite the beating overall, really. Let's see, were any of the things they lost on the Argus? Ah, uh, yes. They actually lost quite a bit of stuff off the Argus, which is always nice. Not that that's going to necessarily keep it out of action for any extended period of time. And if we look over here, yes, they're the two battle cruisers that they had that main, remained unscathed were up here escorting the Argus and the Eagle. And then they had some armored cruisers and whatnot up here escorting the, um, what is that? The Amphitrite? Yeah, sure, whatever. Go ahead, leave scenario. 72,000 VP for us. Battle of Cape Cod. But we're still blockaded. Which I'm not surprised by, to be honest. But also, should we really be blockaded? Um, because I'm pretty sure I technically beat them out ever so slightly in terms of forces deployed. So unless the blockade, because I'm pretty sure you can't blockade me from the west coast. Pretty sure it's only your build, your build area that you can blockade. So that's over here. But whatever. Apparently we are being blockaded still. Presumably this will only be for a couple of turns as our um, damaged stuff comes back into service. And uh, the PB is probably the flying boats. Um, but, you know, we fought that battle. We still don't get any destroyer or uh, torpedo bombers. Pardon me. Oh, I could have sworn I started my timer. Nope, I actually forgot to press the start button, so OBS, how long has this been going for? 52 minutes! You know what? That's fine. This is going to be a bit of a shorter part. Now, it, I'm going to say this. I expected this to probably take a couple of parts before I do this, but that was a nice resounding defeat of the British. You know... That knocked them down to seven destroyer or dreadnoughts, six battle cruisers. They managed to keep all their CVs, so lucky them. Uh, same with the CVLs. But that that battle hurt them, so probably next part. I'm not gonna actually record that immediately after though. It's a little late. Um So yes. Next part, I'm going to be bringing in either the Germans or the French as a they watched us just beat the crap out of the British. And so they're deciding, hey, maybe we should provide some support to the Americans because we hate the British. No reason not to help them. So we'll see who I decide to bring in. The reality is the Germans are much more useful as an ally, I think. Um, and technically our tensions with them are lower than they are with the French as well. So that's a, another bonus. Out of curiosity, who has the better basing up here? Germany does. Yeah, we're going to go with Germany. Even though France has a potential excuse for... Um, retaking Vietnam. We're gonna go with the Germans. I'm, I'm gonna edit... <clears throat> excuse me. I'm gonna edit the save and bring the Germans as an ally. Because, yeah, they... They're the best, I think, for this. Although France has the potential of being useful because they can blockade the Mediterranean. But then they're dividing their forces between Northern Europe and the Mediterranean, so eh, yeah, no. No, we're going to go with the Germans. So next time, next part, the Germans will be our ally. They'll be joining the war. They'll, they'll have said, hey, we hate the British. 
the Americans just beat the living crap out of the uh, British in the opening engagement of the war. So we're going to go ahead and hitch our wagon to the U.S. in this war. Uh, there's technically nothing stopping the French from joining in further down the line if they feel so inclined, but that is not going to be our immediate... Um, I'm not going to be bringing them in uh, myself, at least. If they decide to join through an event or whatever, then I won't stop them. So I'll see you all next time where we'll be continuing this war. Admittedly, I will say this, bringing the Germans in will probably break the blockade on us because the British are going to be pretty much forced to pull a bunch of their troops in Northern Europe. So until next time, a quick reminder, I do have a Patreon. You can find a link to it down below in the description if you enjoy the content of the channel. That is the easiest and best way to help support the channel. I also have a Discord down there, which is my go-to place for posting about channel happenings, so I do recommend joining it so you can stay up to date on that type of stuff. But until next time, goodbye and farewell.